today what we're going to be looking at is how to speed up your chord changes. There's nothing worse than having quite a big chunk of a song down and then just getting to one chord where you're not quite quick enough and the whole flow of the song sort of falls apart because of it. So if I give you a demo of that, I'm going to strum from a C to an F to a G. I'm going to transition from the C to the F absolutely fine and then I'm going to hit that G and I'm going to struggle. So hopefully you heard me struggle to get that G down at the same tempo that I was playing the rest of the song and as a result the flow of that song sort of feels all a bit off and realistically you should only ever play a song at the speed of where you're the slowest so if I can only change that G chord from the F quite slowly that should be the tempo I play the song at. I shouldn't be playing it quicker and then dropping down just because I can't physically get to that chord in time. So what almost everybody will do in this case of when they haven't quite got that chord changed down yet, you just keep playing that section. So they'll keep going. And they'll keep doing that until it gets faster. And eventually that will work, but it'll just take a lot longer than what I'm gonna show you now. So what I like to do is just purely focus on that specific chord change. So the only thing I'm bothered about, I'm not bothered about the strumming pattern, I'm not bothered about the C to the F or anything like that, I'm gonna hone right in on that F to G. So it's just from the F to the G that I'm struggling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 60 seconds of solid practice switching from that F to that G or whatever the chord changes that you are struggling with. So I've got a timer set up on my phone for one minute and you can use a smartphone, you can use a specific timer, whatever you've got for this, doesn't really matter as long as you can time a minute. I'm going to hit play on that and then I'm going to try and change from F to G as many times as I possibly can. So I'm hitting play now and I'll do one down strum for F and one for the G and I'll count how many of these I can get in a minute. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to rush it you just want to see how many you can get in a minute and you also don't want to count any that sound a little bit wrong so if I did this for example okay we've got a little bit of a dead note in there I'm not going to count that one I'm just going to fret that again and count that So I'm going to try and get as many of those in a minute and I'm going to keep a mental note of that, maybe keep a little record on your phone or on a piece of paper or something like that, see how many you can get in a minute. Um, what you'll find is because that is pure focused practice on only that chord change, nothing else, we're not wasting any additional time, all of the time is in switching between those two chords, you'll find that you significantly improve if you do this for say two, three times a day. So that's just three minutes of your day if you're doing it three times a day. If you do that over the course of four or five days, you'll see significant improvements. And what I aim for is I aim for 60 chord changes in a minute. So one per second. Once I can hit 60 chord changes in a minute, I know that that's pretty much going to be fast enough for most of the stuff that I'm playing. And usually it'll only take me three or four sessions, that's three or four minutes, to actually see a significant improvement. I was doing one recently where I've been struggling a little bit, to be quite honest, switching between uh, an A and an E. Okay, I'm a little bit slow on that E. And you can see that there. So what I've been doing is I've been doing the minute thing. I've probably done five blasts of it so far. And I've gone from being able to transition from that A to that E about 30 times in a minute. So one every two seconds. To now, I think I got 59 last night for the first time, so I'm 19 more in a, in a minute. And I'm there or thereabouts to the speed that I want to be. I will probably push this one a little bit further so I can maybe get 80. Um, but you'll get to the point of where you can really chip through them. So if I pick an easier one, for example, if I pick C to F, just listen at the speed here. Perfect. 
That's mm. way faster than one a second, and that's going to be easily quick enough for whatever you need to do. Um, but just this this approach of just focusing in on the one chord change that is giving you problems and not spending any time on anything else and just honing in on that, just for 60 seconds, you're going to see huge, huge improvements in no time at all. And obviously that only works really for a single chord change. So I'm going from, in my example, which I'm struggling with, from the A to the E. Okay, so that would cover that chord change. But if I'm, say, struggling to get from a, a B to an E, I'd need to do the same for the B to the E as well. So just apply it to whatever it is that you're struggling with. Just really focus in and just honestly watch the rewards come in. You will get so much faster at chord changes. I don't think I've got a better tip on ukulele than this one. I think it's probably the best thing for the most significant improvements in time. Um, of any tip that I've ever picked up anywhere. I think it's really, really useful. So hopefully that helps you with your chord changes. If you do like the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, it all helps me carry on making content. And also drop me a comment uh, or give me a thumbs up. It's all massively, massively appreciated. But thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with more Uke stuff.